Morning everybody, my name is Joe Russo. We're here with What's Brewing at Palm Beach Tech, and I'm joined here by Shay Berman, the uh, founder of Digital Resource, a uh, great company, actually just a stone's throw from uh, here. We run into each other all the time, I feel like. <laughs> uh, but we're here um, for our first little uh, Facebook Live since uh, Hurricane Irma. Um, that obviously uh, threw us off for a little bit of a loop, but uh, we thank you for joining us. So Shay, why don't you uh, kind of let everybody know who you are and what you do here uh, in downtown West Palm Beach and what your company is all about. Sounds great. Thanks, Joe, for having us on today, which me on today. Um, yeah, so we're a digital resource located right across the street. Uh, we're an internet marketing agency specializing in custom internet marketing strategies. So for small, medium, and large businesses, they really want an all-encompassing internet marketing approach, uh, ranging from website development to search engine optimization, social media, even managed live chat software with live chat agents. Uh, we have a great team of young people. Um, we're growing really fast downtown here. Yeah, and I, I've been to your office uh, a couple times now. It seems like you know we all, always talk about talent and talent development, getting new people. I mean, it seems like you've been able to bring in a lot of people in our generation uh, to help build this team and bring them all locally. To yes, it like. we have. We're actually looking for six more right now. So six more. Okay. We have, we have about seventeen or so, and we're looking for six more like yesterday. So. We've done a great job so far, but we're just you know doing our due diligence, bringing everyone in. So obviously, uh, web development, yep. uh, content marketing, yep. digital marketing, yep. account management, yeah, yep. And and as far as uh, your background, I mean, I, I know you've had this company for a couple of years. It's obviously grown considerably in the past few months, but how did you get started in all this? So I went to Michigan State University. I got a degree in advertising with a specialization in internet marketing. Mm -hmm. um, while I was in school, I owned a landscape construction company that I practiced my internet marketing on. Um, being the top of my class and my specialization, I just had a real passion for the internet marketing side. Um, so when I graduated, my passion was always to live in South Florida, and I made it here and started the company. So like any first time entrepreneur, you started with the landscaping business. Yes. <laughs> you, you weren't uh, mowing lawns for quarters or anything. No, no, we actually didn't mow lawns, it's landscape construction, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a little bit more, okay, let's take the architecture. Like project let's, based. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so now that you've built this company and you're continuing to build it, you have a great place over there. Um, for anybody who's not been over there, it, they actually carried all of their Macs out for Hurricane <laughs> Irma, but they have a very Macintosh, very nice uh, whiteboarded office everywhere. Yes. Um, you imagine being downtown, you imagine this is going to be your home for a while? That's the goal. I mean, right now our space can hold about 39 or 42 people, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping to expand in our current building, get maybe up to 100 people in the building before we have to reconsider other options. Gotcha. And hopefully still downtown. Yeah. Well, I, you know, speak of work, there's a, a few news stories out there we're going to talk about this week. Usually we talk about the top five news stories. There wasn't really uh, so much uh, in the past week, just as Hurricane Irma was coming through and all that. But um, there's two big ones that um, are good to talk about today that kind of relate all back to this. One is uh, Magic Leap. Uh, they're currently uh, going out for their Series D funding. So they raised uh, about $1.3, $1.4 billion. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, wow. <laughs> that's a little bit of scratch. Um, it, you know, they're only in Fort Lauderdale, uh, but you know, when you have a company like that that's just creating so much buzz and bringing in so much talent and hopefully creating the next great technology, I mean, I, I think that adds to all the other companies that are here. Oh, huge! I mean, when I first wanted to be in West Palm Beach, and I decided I wanted to be here, everyone thought I was crazy. But if, what's in West Palm Beach? Why would you want to be here? For some reason, I really don't know why, but I really believed in it. And since we've come down here, so much has grown around it, including yeah. Magic Leap and so many others. Well, and you're building alone the past year. Uh, you're there. Yeah. Uh, you have Ship oh, Sticks. Ship Sticks is up yeah. there. They took over the entire so fourth floor. Saw commercials last night. <laughs> uh, Ship Sticks is another Palm Beach Tech member company that uh, they actually uh, ship your golf clubs anywhere in the world. It's a big uh, company for the Palm Beach area. But hey, on top of that, there was a company that moved from Atlanta. Uh, to West Palm that's also in your building, Innovative Architects. Yeah, yep. big data science type uh, company. They can manipulate your data and come up with ways that you can better define your business and your decisions through understanding how that information comes in and how to handle that. Uh, but you know, we, we always talk about technology, I think, in our daily lives and think about it in terms of the apps we use. 
But uh, the one thing that we always use, I think considerably as just a human population on Earth now, is Amazon, of course. And that's something that's obviously, they're looking for a new headquarters site. Um, they actually put out an RFP, a request for proposal, so they were asking for communities around the country. All these specifications. Exactly. Uh, you know, it said something like 100 acres, like 8 million square feet. So they're not coming downtown, we know that for sure. This yeah. is not that kind of space downtown. Yeah. But um, all of South Florida's uh, economic development uh, groups and forces are joining together now. Um, and I, I've had a, uh, the pleasure of being a very, very, very small piece of that discussion so far. But uh, you know what we're going to look at doing here is trying to build South Florida into this, um, into this tech hub through hopefully attracting Amazon. Uh, that's a really big game bit. But um, you know that theoretically could be a game changer. I think. Oh, it could be huge. I mean, the whole country is vying for Amazon to come have their second headquarters and for us to have in South Florida would be amazing. So if you were to go out and try and uh, you know trying to get employees here all the time, if you're trying to tell somebody on South Florida, what is something that you tell them uh, that say, hey, you need to come here because of X, Y, Z? I mean, just the growth. I mean, just that alone. I mean, South Florida's growing, and not just growing in general, but growing for the right population. Young people, technologically advanced people, who are intelligent people who want to grow and do very well. South Florida's changing in that way. Yeah. And, you know, more than that, it's, uh, it, you know, we're getting the bright line train coming yep, soon. So we're going to be, be more connected. Uh, we're going to be able to travel better than ever before. Um, but you know, I, I, I think we're hitting this. I think we're hitting this phase in South Florida. We're not so focused on retirement and golf anymore. Yes, no, not at all. And uh, I, I don't know exactly. You know, when we started making that switch, but. Uh, you know, when we see these job announcements like Chewy and Modernizing Medicine and we're going after Amazon, you know, rather than, you know, most of the typical things, I think that's a big change. Oh, totally. Nice. And, and so um, I've been here for about four years uh, and I'd say sometime in the last four years the change was definitely made. Like sometime in the last four years you definitely felt that change happen. Yeah. Well, uh, that's going to be pretty much it for uh, what's brewing at Palm Beach Tech today. I want to thank... Uh, uh, Shay. Uh, oh, and you have an event coming up. We do. Right. October 19th at 5.30, our office at 324 Day Tura, Suite 140. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing a big open house networking party. Um, it's free drinks. And then afterwards, we're going to uh, Bradley's down the street for free appetizers, live bands. Kind of like, just like a whole night of networking fun, all sponsored by us. Awesome. And uh, we have a meetup this week coming up on Wednesday, uh, 6 o'clock. It is the uh, CEO of Emerge Americas. Um, basically, the guy who put it all together. I mean, not the quote unquote founder, but uh, the guy year after year who just kind of makes it happen. So, we're going to have that. So, uh, we're going to post all these uh, events on uh, our Facebook page. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Shay, Thanks for, for joining me. me and for all the good work you're doing downtown. Sounds great. Thank Appreciate you. It.